Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a time badge. Just before the video begins, I'd just like to say 92.2% of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. A time badge is when a player receives a badge once they have been in the server for a certain amount of time. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you want to click on the top bar here, click on View, and click on Explorer and Properties to make sure they are enabled. So now that you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on Home, and then you want to head over to your Explorer and find Service Script Service. You want to then click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've inserted the code, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that's in the description, and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste it in. So now that you guys have inserted the code into the script in service script service, we want to go and adjust a couple things. So you want to go up to the top line here, line one, where it says local badge ID, and you want to change this ID, this bunch of numbers, to whatever your badge ID number is. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, how do I actually get a badge ID? So to create a badge, you want to go up to your game settings, and then depending if your game is published or not, it will depend on what your game settings looks like. If your game is not published already, you want to go and follow the necessary steps. Just follow along that. And then once you've completed all those steps, your game settings page look, should look something like this. But once you've published your game, head over to monetization. And then you'll be able to see by underneath monetization, it says badges, bad image, badge name and badge description. But now, as you guys can see, we don't have any badges here. So we want to go and click on create. So once you've clicked on create, you should load up to a page looking something like this. You now want to go and insert a image, which is going to be your, for your badge. So for example, you could use a one hour badge, for example, but you can really use whatever image you would like. It doesn't really matter, but go and insert your image there. Then you want to go and choose a name for your badge. For this tutorial, I'm going to probably be naming my badge something like time badge, just so that we can easily know what it is. But feel free to go and make it something like one hour in the game or one hour badge, two hour badge, 10 minutes badge, badge, it doesn't really matter. And you don't have to fill out a description, but if you would like to, you can give the player a bit of a description on what the badge actually is. So once you've gone and filled out all your information, you want to click on preview. And as you guys can see, it should look something like this. And then you want to purchase it for zero Robux, basically uploading it to Roblox. So now that you've done that, you want to go back to your Roblox studio and then you want to go and click on the refresh button to go and refresh your game settings page. As you guys can see, our badge is now showing on the game settings once we've clicked refreshed. Then you want to go over to the three dots, click copy ID to clipboard, click on the X button by game settings, go back to the script. Uh, you can also access it through service script service, but I have mine open up there. Now that you've done, now that, you've done that, you want to go over to line one, remove this ID and then paste in your badge ID. So basically that is going to be the badge which the player is rewarded if they stay in the server for that amount of time. But now you want to go and adjust the amount of time that the player has to be in the server. Here on default, we've got it set to 10 just for tutorial purposes. So if a player is in the server for 10 seconds, they will then be rewarded that badge. Now Roblox Studio reads it in seconds. So let's say you want the player to be given a badge after one hour. All you want to do, you want to go back to your Chrome so now that you're on Chrome, you want to go and search hours to seconds because basically now we're going from we're changing one hour into seconds because Roblox Studio only reads seconds. So we need to get the amount of seconds in one hour. So as you guys can see here, one hour is 3600 seconds. Now, let's say we decide to make a two hour badge. We just simply change that to two. And there is our amount of seconds, basically meaning if the player is in the game for 7200 seconds, they will be rewarded that badge. Now, depending, you can change this depending on how long you want your badge to be. But for example, again, 10, 10 hours, that will be 36,000 seconds. But for this tutorial, we will just be making the time that the player has to be in the server for 10 seconds so that I can show you it for tutorial purposes. So once you've finished adjusting everything like your badge ID and the amount of time you want the player to be in the server, you want to click on the X button up here to close your script and to apply the edits from the script to publish the game, you want to then go up to the top bar here, click on file and publish to Roblox. 
So once you guys have published your game to Roblox, you now want to go over to the main Roblox page and find your Roblox game, which is going to be having this badge. And as you guys can see, our badge is showing here. The time badge, this is a time badge. And now this is going to be the badge that we get rewarded if we stay in the server for 10 seconds. Click on the play button to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate and over in about 10 seconds time, we will be rewarded a badge because we have been in the server for 10 seconds. And as you guys can see, now that we've been in the server for 10 seconds, we have been awarded this badge. Now, it doesn't matter when the player joins. The moment the player joins in, the timer starts and after 10 seconds, they will be rewarded this badge. But keep in mind, depending on what you made your seconds to, let's say you wanted it to be two hours for 7,200 seconds, the player will only receive that badge after 7,200 seconds. But as you guys remember, for this tutorial, we have just made it 10 seconds. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. Super thanks is located just below the video and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.